me! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Why did that? Number two, not do the boo doo boo doo. -do. What the poop? What the poop? Anyway, colors. <laughs> I'm trying to think of now which ones I had left to show. I got these. Definitely, definitely. De Wait, did I do the ocean? I definitely did sapphire. I don't know about ocean. Uh, I'm just, yeah, you know, just trying to think here. Did the cherry? Did the chocolate? Did Trump? Every okay, maybe we, maybe we are catching up here. So I think, yeah, I think ocean is next. So. Let's go! 8-2! We are gonna 100% this level like we have never 100%ed a level before! Which means we're probably gonna do poorly! <laughs> oh yeah, this is uh, conductive material, isn't it? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> anyway. Oh! I keep forgetting that mention that guy's name too. That guy riding a cloud like Lakitu. His name is Kret. Can I get him to respawn, please? Or is he never, never going to respawn again? I think there's another one in this level anyway, but not that big of a deal if I don't get get him to respawn. Oh man! <laughs> All right, let's go back up to the main path here. Oh, there's one. Hello. What they do is like the. I just float around. I think some of them drop lightning too, if I recall correctly. But oh, I didn't double bounce. Oh. <laughs> anyway, I'm up here. I'm gonna show you the other path because I can. <laughs> this is the other path that I kind of ignored a little bit ago. Oh, I'm gonna drop that. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna continue on with the beam because of the uh, the powers of speed plus electricity. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to inhale them. Dang it! I... Okay, I, 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 I was joking about the thing that we were gonna do a terrible job 100%ing, but it appears to be coming true. It's like I prophesized it. <laughs> All right, so now we got some space water. I'm not sure how this works, but we can swim in it. I assure you. And we got fish jumping out like cheap cheeps in Mario, having a good time. <laughs> yeah, this this isn't the water that you can swim in just yet, but I think there is, uh... Oh, I should have something that could destroy everything. Oh, I didn't mean to... Yes, it's... I, f I forgot when you upgrade that, if you hold the button for too long, you get that multi-random... Oh, no! That multi-randomness attack, and yeah. <laughs> Why did I even... I guess I thought I still had the magic. <laughs> All right. All right, I say. E I just want to kind of curve through everything here. Just want to see. Not that it really is that important, I think, but I just want to. I don't know. I just want to see if there's anything in there. Because I don't remember checking those ones by the big block before, so I was like, eh, just to be sure. Just to be sure. <laughs> uh! <laughs> hey, you can dodge that by ducking. Eh. Eh, I say. Eh. And I, I'm gonna take a hit by that if I don't, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I think, I think that's good. I think. I think the thing that I'm thinking of that's hidden is in this one. And I probably should grab a little pengy here. Because I think there's actually inside a block. Like a, a big block. This is what made me think to check the other area of stuff, because this, this door right here. Um, now... I think there's gonna be a choose your destiny of things here. Because I... Th okay. This is the logic behind this one. Is that you know that the big rock is gonna fall down from above and destroy the world, right? So that makes sense, it would be this one. That would give you the chest, but this one will unleash the critter. And the other one will destroy the switch that will uh, allow you to get the treasure chest. But yeah, that's the logic behind that one because, yeah, as you can see, if you just, you know, if you fail at that, just fall down the hole and <laughs> just do it again. <laughs> ah, now we're swimming in that space water. I guess this is what the Milky Way is like. 
It is milk, but incredibly clear, and not milky white, perhaps. That is how I'm visualizing things, and perhaps it is also not cow based You know, so you can freeze quite a lot of the water in this particular area, because you can actually get your iciness into it quite a bit. That's why I chose the powers of the ice for that. <laughs> you, you see me trying to flip upwards like that, but I was like, nope. Nope, nah, nope, not working out. So uh, that's another way that you can get past this obstacle easier, is just to freeze the water and then walk across it. I mean, there's less room for the Gordos to pass by them, but you can you have more mobility, I should say more speed when you're walking on land than if you were to, yeah, go the other way. And that automatically killed the critter. Poor critter. Poor critter. You know, despite how that looked, it doesn't really feel like there's a current here. I mean, there is a current, but it's not that strong of a current. You don't really notice it that much, if that makes sense. And uh, just gonna try and explore all the Oh, all the pa Oh no 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 It's gone, isn't it? Oh no, 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 no. It's not gone! We're still in this with the ice. <laughs> it floated up to the top. Because, yeah, if it, if it just keeps floating up in the water, it's going to either go off the screen like this, and then you can't get it because it's... yeah. But it, it just ha it went inside the bubble of air there, and we are good! I guess... I was going to say, I guess I can shoot water upwards, but I'm getting confused by the lines here! <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, shoot. No, 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 no! No, no, oh shoot, oh, okay. <laughs> Golden Waldy! Always a scary guy. He may have he may have almost gone down the pit of doom there. And no, I should actually combine these. Got some cherry water. Mmm, good. And oh yeah. Uh, once you grab this. Big boy's coming! <laughs> uh, you probably just skip a whole lot of this. Because it's not only a gauntlet, but in, in reality, you're probably just going to do that, you know, through the whole thing. You're just like going, just by sliding down the bottom, if you really wanted to. Ah, let's probably go inside. That's not really... <laughs> He's just going to appear on the other side, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, what you're normally supposed to do is go like this, and then you're supposed to do the slides. But really, it's so much faster just sliding through the whole thing in general, you know? Alright, why well, not? Wow, that was terrible timing. <laughs> it was too off on that. Alright. Victory is Kirby's! I should probably change color really quick. <laughs> oh! The ghost medal has been completed! And now, Ted Han there has replaced some bosses in some levels, like the mini bosses. And you'll be able to probably see him coming up, I think, in World 8, and also it opens up the, like, power hub, I guess you could say, of the world. I guess I could go ahead and show you that really quick. Just go over here and head on over to the big old tower. And yep, it's a gathering of all the game's powers whenever you would like them. Except for... one. It's not here yet. Oh, but it will be. Oh, Ted Hon gives you this power right here, the power of the ghost. This is a power unique to this game in that you can actually take over enemies using it. I'll just go back over to... well, I don't even have to go back to a level, I'll just go over to 8S3, I suppose, and grab an enemy. Hello there, Bun! I would like to use your body here? Yes! And now I am controlling Bun! Ha 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 ha! You can attack, you can jump, it's just like controlling the enemy itself in every which way possible. The only what, critters that you can't really take care of, uh, I mean, that you can't really take control of, are the squeaks. So, th that includes even the smallest of the lackeys as well, if I recall correctly, so... But you can take care. Um, you can take control of these guys anytime you please. Like, oh, no, no. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna say I'm gonna take take control of Scarfy here. I'm gonna show you what it's like to be an angry Kamikaze master. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. <laughs> and as you could tell, the ghost power isn't without its problems, I guess you could say in a way, because for one thing, it's very slow, so you're pretty vulnerable to things. Although, when you're when you have an enemy, the enemy takes your hits instead of you, so that that's kind of a way to negate it in a way, but since you can't take control of bosses and stuff like that, it's kind of not handy versus bosses and whatnot, but it is really, really cool to mess around with enemies and feel how they control and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, just, just look at this! This is amazing! <laughs> I can be... Sparky! Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, but what I really need... Uh, I'll actually get that back a little bit later on when I get to a mini-boss that'll have Ted Hun. What I really need... is a throw power. That's why we had fun around these parts if you don't have the power of the ghost, because, you know, the ghost metal is not... Not necessarily something that everyone's gonna have at these points, you know, yeah, yeah, that's how you destroy those dealios. Oh yeah, and upgrading the throw power uh, will give you the ability to have, like, elemental throws, I guess you can call them. Like, here, I'll grab our spark buddy again here. Notice how our throw has a bit of the spark power associated with that? Yeah, so now we can use the throw power to destroy other stuff that's elemental based for other obstacles and stuff like that. So the throw power got a whole, whole lot more versatile, assuming that there's an enemy near the thing that you, you know, kind of can be able to destroy. Because once, you, once you're holding on to an enemy, you can't exactly move. So, yeah. Yeah, anyway. Let's move on through the maze of asteroids that have somehow attached to each other. Or maybe this is one asteroid and the magma inside has cooled down. Oh man, no Ted Hon this time. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, they, they replace... Ted Hon tends to replace mini-bosses like this. But it's not Molly. You went down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> that was the fastest you were ever defeated. But yeah, uh, Ted Hon the ghost replaces critters like that. So, by the way, you cannot get this treasure chest down this route that I'm taking. In fact, this whole route that I'm going to be starting out with is a dead end. And... Come on, I'm doing the... I'm doing the side drilly thingy here. So, why are you not dr directly digging through it? You're, you're like hitting the wall. That is, that is... Yeah, like that! That's, that's a non-existent wall! What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, I want to get our crittery friend there, just in case I lose my power in the future like I did there. <laughs> like, I don't know why I decided to drop my power there. Anyway, uh, okay, that's not worth it. <laughs> I don't think there's like any hidden doors or something like that around here, but I'm just kind of going through here to show you what you may otherwise have missed every gone. You gotta, it's it's kind of awkward to actually grab onto the, the dirt in some fashions, like going up into the dirt. You've got to be pinned up to the top while pressing up, and then you'll be able to, yeah, so it's not really the most simple of things to deal with, you know? <laughs> um, I do believe, though, that the switch will, or at least one of these paths, will open up back to this area here in the future, so just keep that in mind. And these levels are getting pretty long, I've got to say. So we're skipping this door, and we're going down, and we're going right. See that? Why was I hitting the like in, in some sort of invisible wall or something before on the other ones? That should not have happened at all. So okay, I just want to initially get ourselves all set up over there to get behind that door because there's a switch over on uh, this side which we hit, and that that. That floor there just is basically like a shortcut back to the other side if you don't make it here in time, or yeah, if you don't have the powers to get through here, and yeah, but since we do, we're good. <laughs> once we grab this, or okay, once we just reach, reach the hole, it automatically opens up and we're back on over here. Cursor, cursor, okay. <laughs> Must always watch the cursor. Alright, so that is one treasure chest. Let's go to the next area, and 
fire ore, because I see ice ore. And I don't need to increase... Oh, okay, maybe now I do, but... Oh! <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't need to increase my uh, health, because I've got a full... full bar health here, so I don't... yeah, but, well... Now I kinda don't... It's a, it's kind of a vertical-oriented area, and that there's a bunch of paths that you can look through. So I'm just gonna kinda zigzag... down from the top to the bottom, get that with fire... Uh, I guess I don't really need to... Oop! Well, okay. <laughs> we're good, we're good. We're actually gonna go... Grab our sleepy friend here and Snorlax it up. There we go! I feel like a new puff. And... Yeah, see, there's a, there's a whole lot to see here, but... It's... I don't know, it's just... At the same time, there's not that much to see. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and char let's say charge through everything. But last, there is that vulnerability period <laughs> where you come out of your fiery ball dash. And I think there's the chest. I mean, there's a chest in here, excuse me. Uh, okay, maybe it's not here. Oh, wait, actually. I think that star just leads me through here. <laughs> yeah, it just does. Okay, so this isn't the one I was thinking of that has the chest. It's gotta be the next screen over, then. Uh, I do believe before I grab this star, uh, I should probably empty out my belly a little bit. You know what? <laughs> as long as I have it, I might as well, you know? Uh, there we go. Okay, I should be able to gather the treats that are along the way through here, because we're gonna get a couple things that are gonna bounce into here. If I remember correctly, we get... We get... Absolutely nothing. Hmm. Maybe I'm thinking of another area, I don't know. <laughs> that warp star gave me nothing. Nothing! Oh, UFO. If there's a UFO, it probably means that there's something... Something to uh, look around with. Oh! Um, I do believe... Didn't we get an upgrade to that? Uh, yeah, um... There is the power of the, the power of the. Oh wait, I think isn't it when you wait? Is it when you grab an enemy with the UFO? Whoops. Uh, e. Hmm. How did that go? Uh. Hmm. Is that just saying you can ram into him? Because <laughs> I, I forgot how this went then. Hmm. hmm. Oh, we do have this. Now, shield that we've activated, maybe that's the thing that it's referring to. This little spark thing, but it doesn't show that there's a spark. It just, maybe it's saying that it's a rotating star. And yeah, you could use this to carve through a whole bunch of stuff, as you can see here. But yeah, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Perhaps, maybe, might be. Uh, that, that would not be beyond my capabilities, believe you me. <laughs> Alright, let's keep digging through stuff with the UFO, because there's a lot of blocks, and thus we must show. I tried to make a rhyme, but maybe it wasn't the time, because I got an enemy in the face. Oh! <laughs> Alright. I don't think there's anything here, actually. It's just the obstacle gauntlet of blocks. Alright. Eh, I guess we can just keep on going on with our sparkiness. Uh, until we get to here. <laughs> Oh no. oh, no, not in range, huh? Pardon? Okay. <laughs> so those aren't the... C I guess there's two different kinds of metal blocks. <laughs> oh, jeez. So that's that's what must be why I confused the other set of metal blocks there. Uh, at the other place, because it's like one metal block reacts one way and another one only melts under certain circumstances. <laughs> Alright. Let's go! Fly through the air and... Like you just don't care. Wait a second, I'm just gonna go through here. <laughs> I just, just grab that. Oh, I can't grab that. Well, now I can, but... I, oh! I can't do... I can't grab it if you're doing that, but... <laughs> Alright. Maybe I should try going in here really quick. Oh. You know what? I'll just cycle out for a maximum. Maxim tomato power. Okay. 
And we're gonna have to re-battle, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I know how it works. And I just kinda of, just well, oh, I was gonna say I'll shuriken all day and all night, but oh, oh no 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 no! How did you how did you recover so quickly? <laughs> so yeah, as you can tell, we got UFOs on top of the UFO. <laughs> on top of the UFOs here. Dang it, I'm totally mispredicting your movements here. That's my that's my biggest issues. Alright. Oh, I say alright. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Oh. And this I, I I should really stop giving him a chance. I've said that many times over, but I really, truly should learn that. <laughs> Victory! Yeah! Oh, geez, new spray paint. <laughs> and I do believe, yep, that was the last Vitality Hearts. We are going to have maximum health now. Assuming we aren't playing Reckless and we get hit by everything in the world, but yes! We have made it to the boss. Which I'm going to do in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.